A long time ago, I released a video how to fix bad range on the Mavic Mini, where I basically showed a technique where you could force the drone into FCC mode, which provides the strongest possible signal between the remote and the drone. The technique I showed for temporarily switching the drone into FCC mode is causing some of you issues, and many of you have asked me to do an updated version of the video. So I've been digging a little bit around and I actually found out that there are paid alternatives out there where you can pay maybe $30, $40 to get like a permanent fix for this. But there's also a free version that will allow you to temporarily switch your drone into FCC mode in case that you experience severe interference issues. Let me start by showing you how you can determine what mode your drone is in. And we will be using the DJI Mini 2. Once the connection to the drone has been established, you simply go under the transmission tab where you can see sort of a chart that tells you about the signal strength of the drone. And if you look at the line at the minus 90 dBm, and if that one is positioned around the one kilometer mark, means that the drone is not in FCC mode and thereby providing significantly less uh, broadcasting power. The original technique involved an application that could fake the GPS position of the drone, making it think that it was located in the US and thereby automatically switching it into FCC. What I'm gonna show you now is a lot easier. One of you made me aware of a posting on the mavicpilots.com forum, where one of the members, Caleb, has created an Android app which allows switching from CE to FCC mode. And there's even a link for the APK. This one was developed and tested on the Mavic Air 2, but I kind of figured that it will work on the Mini 2 as well. So you simply just proceed downloading the application to your smartphone. The first thing that you need to do is to connect the remote to the drone. So once there's a connection between these two, you need to pull out the cable from uh, the remote. And I've used a longer one here because it makes it easier for demonstrational purpose and then plug it into the base of the controller. Once that is plugged in, it basically saying open the Mavic Air 2 FCC to handle C5. I don't know what that means, but if you press OK here, it will automatically launch the app. And then you simply press patch, and then it says patched successfully. And what you do next is that you take the cable here and you move it back into the primary port of the controller. And the drone automatically switches back to the camera view. And if we now jump into the section here of the transmission, you would see that the minus 90 dBm is lowered below the one kilometer mark here, as you see on the right side. That is an indication that the drone is currently in FCC mode. So if I just fire up the drone, just to show you that it actually works while the drone is running, the drone is right now in FCC mode. This is a one-off and works as long as there is a connection between the drone and the remote. So if I pull out the battery, which you kind of have to do sometimes, and pull it in again, reboot the drone, and re-establish the connection, you would see that the minus 90 dBm jumps back to one kilometer, which means that it's back in CE mode. It actually also works with the Mini 3, with the DJI RC. If you wonder how that is done, let me know. But I do want to add a disclaimer. You should not fly beyond visual line of sight because that is the local regulation in most countries. This video is only for information and educational purpose. It's not an encouragement to use this as it is illegal to fly a FCC drone in CE territory. Equally important, you might worry your warranty. So if you use this hack and you crash your drone and you need DJI's assistance to repair it, they might refuse it because they can see it in the logs. So what do you think about this technique? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.